welcome to another broadcast with Gian. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gian. Stay away from unwise people, my friend. Stay away from them. You see them making mistakes everywhere. You are in the store, and then you hear them arguing with uh, employees in the store for silly things. You, uh, you hear them ask, asking questions of things that they are so obvious and even dumb. You are in your car, and suddenly you see someone that is in the left lane moving all the way to the right to cross to the right in the next corner and you just can't believe it they are sometimes in the workplace sometimes they are in your home doing things that you just can't believe and you just have a problem dealing with them and the problem is you just wonder if they really want to learn <laughs> Do you think that they want to learn? More likely, unwise people do not want to learn. They are thinking, this is the way that I am. I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. And that's okay with everybody. You are okay with that. The problem is, if, if it's a co-worker that is unwise, doing this kind of stuff, making mistakes, and this person is part of the the whole process is one of the elements in the process in the flow chart you are in trouble and you wonder are they going to learn one day well the answer is that maybe they will yeah maybe you don't believe it but there are good possibilities that unwise people eventually will learn and and i can prove that to you I was unwise, unwise. I was uh, a fool. I was uh, stubborn and I was not uh, smart. But you know what happened to me? The consequences of my behavior, the consequences of what I was doing and my mistakes started to show me that that was not the best way to do. I, I enjoyed really doing things when I was young and having fun and sometimes even aggravating family members and uh and i knew some of the adults that i was working with sometimes <laughs> i think i did things just to upset them and i had fun but i wasn't really paying attention to to what i was doing and you know what there were many consequences and i paid the price and and yes eventually i learned the lessons and and i thought well it was not the right thing to do that to such and such to such and such unwise people might learn but they don't necessarily will learn from you you need to give them time and you know why because you have your own challenges but again you have to pay attention to what you are doing for instance you are in the store and you hear this unwise people doing things saying things and perhaps uh, it's an aggravation to you but why are you in the store get the job done there do your thing and leave as soon as you can you are on the road and you see unwise people doing all kind of stuff don't don't bother because you have your own challenges you are on your way to work or home or to the grocery store or to take care of business that is what you need to be thinking of pay attention to your own things because you don't need extra burdens sometimes people feel overwhelmed when they see individuals that are not wise making mistakes and they feel compelled to tell them in the store you know what uh, i would like to tell you the item you are looking for is this and that and <laughs> or they are in the same um traffic light 
they put the window down and they say hi uh, it would be nice if you blink put your blinker and then you uh, move slowly through another lane you, you see that's a mistake you don't need extra burdens you have to focus on your own life and uh, you know there is not much that you can do with unwise people other than stay away from them you know what is important that you talk to your mentors about your own things don't pay too much attention to those individuals that are unwise making mistakes even if they are close to you in your workplace or in your family wherever you live you know a neighbor perhaps or anything focus on your projects and what you have to do and talk to your mentors about it i suggest you to develop a good relationship with at least one mentor let the mentor guide you your mentor is like a coach you pick the sport tennis ping pong boxing karate <laughs> football soccer basketball volleyball whatever sport it is you are doing the thing the coach sees you from the outside that viewpoint is a very good viewpoint for you if you trust your mentor and share with your mentor what's going on in your life and you even share the story about what happened in the grocery store or in the traffic with this other unwise person you know your mentor is going to give you good advice i want you to hear this beautiful passage in the book of proverbs chapter 29 verse 9 it says if someone who is wise tries to settle a problem with a fool the fool will argue and say stupid things and they will never agree why would you waste your time trying to settle an agreement with an un unwise person let him be stay away from unwise people thank you for watching another broadcast with Gian. The schedule of this program, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check the website mygiancarlo.com for more videos. We hope to see you soon.